Hi, Logan here, creator of Copilot for Obsidian. How does the best LLM experience look like in Obsidian? I'm on a quest to find out. Today, I'm going to show you how I'm evolving the Copilot plugin to get there. Copilot Chat now has math rendering support. The model returns the equations and they're rendered correctly. You can use the edit button to edit your message and it automatically triggers a rerun. Let me show you how a table is rendered. The model can help us construct tables quickly. Let's try another one. Give me Schrodinger equation in quantum mechanics. This is a compact representation of the Schrodinger equation. It gave us both the time dependent and time independent versions. You can see that all symbols are rendered beautifully. Now let's try some tougher cases. The tensor operations used to haunt me in my grad school days. Let's see how it renders those formula. Check out these matrices and the special operators. They look great. Try another one, the country route product. I remember this one vividly. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what these are, don't worry. You're lucky. The world is still sunshine and flowers for you. I'm just using these special cases to show that the plugin can handle a math textbook now. So how about code uh, syntax highlighting? Let's let it write some code. Write a simple try in JavaScript. A try is a data structure that's responsible for real-time autocompletes. The JavaScript code looks properly highlighted. Let's see Python. Okay, good. Python looks good too. Now we have this new button, insert add cursor. Clicking it brings the message into your node at the cursor position. There's this uh, save as node button that can save your conversation as a markdown note. And now we have a new option, auto save chat. It automatically saves your conversation when you hit new chat or when the plugin reloads. You can either find these conversations in your default folder or you can use a copilot command, load copilot chat conversation, and you can see all your conversations in the list. And you simply select one to load it into your chat. Custom prompts is one of the things that makes this plugin powerful. Let's take a look what it is. You can easily reference uh, selected text, a note via note title, active note, folder of notes, and uh, using tags in the property of notes. There's next to no learning curve. In the past, we used a copilot command to trigger custom prompt. Right now, you just need a single slash in the chat. And the prompt is auto-filled into your chat input. Let me show you something cool. Using Gemini 1.5 Flash, which is the cheapest model here, we can directly generate a mermaid flowchart in the chat. Like magic, right? This is because Copilot automatically renders the mermaid code back from the model. This particular example is using the active node to construct a flowchart. You can be creative and come up with your own prompt to generate mind map, for example, from Markdown or for other creative use cases. By the way, if you have old custom prompts, don't forget to use the copilot command to dump them to Markdown because in the new versions of the plugin, all custom prompts are saved as Markdown for Obsidian Sync support. At some point, the old DB will be removed. So if you don't want to lose your old custom prompt, do this um, when you can. Here's another fun use case I have personally for custom prompts. There's uh, extensive research that proves quizzes can help people learn better. So here's my prompt. It creates a quiz session 
using my active node and a quiz template. I'm using this program essay as an example. According to program, what is the primary reason startups are able to create wealth quickly? They compress a lifetime of work into a few years. C. Right. What does program believe that startups often work on developing new technology? Because new technologies offers high leverage. B. Yeah, that's right. According to the essay, what is a pie fallacy? The belief that wealth is a zero sum game. B. That's right again. Imagine having a quiz session like this against a whole book. Uh, I'm going to enable embedded PDF soon, so stay tuned. Okay, let me show you something even cooler. What is the day today? What time is it? Well, it even gives me the second. What day of the week? How many days until 2025? 107 days. You might be wondering how it is doing it. Large language models don't have real-time information, right? Let me show you the secret. See, this is actually code, data view JS code. What does this mean? This means you can come up with custom prompts that can do whatever data view JS can do for you automatically. And here's my trick. In a system prompt, I asked it to give me data view JS code block when the user asks certain type of questions. This opens so many possibilities for us. For example, you can ask it for all the tasks you have done in the last seven days. Of course, you have to have the data view plugin enabled. You can consider it as some sort of code execution or tool use. It can be powerful, but also dangerous. For example, this user has a plugin that automatically runs any code. Then if you ask Copilot to generate code that deletes your vault, then your vault is gone. So for now, please be extra careful with all these code execution plugins. In the future, I may introduce a new mode where you disable all the auto execution and run them manually. There are many features I'm going to add over the coming weeks. Again, the goal is to have the best LLM experience in Obsidian. Let me know what you would like to see the most in the comment section. The Vault QA mode is quite basic right now, and I have big plans for it. Please consider supporting by buying me coffees or sponsoring the project on GitHub to help me keep this going. If you are still here, thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.